If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. All right, hey there, guys. Aiden DeCosta here, aka Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the AP update. I was going to talk about the heavyweights cards, but I have a lot to say about the AP update that truthfully speaking i don't really have enough time to talk about the cards because i do want to talk about the good bad and the meh from this update so let's get right into it this is going to be a bit of a longer video just focusing on this one specific thing uh but hey madden ultimate team fans there will be an ap update coming to madden target the targeted for september 29th which is going to be either today or tomorrow more than likely it's going to be today because i'm recording this video at 11 uh, 11 12 at night um uh mountain time so both offense and defense AP limits are going to be increased from 12 to 14. Uh, so that's not a big deal. So for quarterbacks, they're adding in pass lead elite for improvisers and scramblers. For improvisers, you got to be a 92. For for a scrambler, it unlocks at 93, and you got an 3 AP for both archetypes. Uh, for quarterback, for um, continuing on for improviser quarterbacks, they're adding in human joystick. It will unlock a tier three, 96 overall, 94 agility. Lower overall for unlock for human joystick now unlocks for 95 overall uh, and 93 agility on scramblers. And then they lower the unlock for spin cycle and jukebox and improvisers. It now unlocks a 92 with a 90 spin slash juke uh, move. Uh, inside Dead Eye was increased, is going to be increased to 5 AP for field generals and strong arm quarterbacks. Uh, moving on to the running backs now, lowered the unlock for grab and go for elusive and receiving running backs. For receiving running backs, it is now just going to be 90 overall. And then for ag for elusive running backs, it's going to be 90 overall and agility to uh, pick it up. Uh, also, they are lowering the overall and trucking to unlock uh, the tank ability on power backs. So it's going to be 93 overall and 93 trucking to get the tank ability. Uh, and then they're lowering human joystick for all running backs. It will unlock for elusive and receiving running backs at 95 overall and 96 agility. And power backs at 96 overall and 94 agility. And they're also lowering the AP from 2 to 1 on running back apprentice for all archetypes for running backs. Moving on to the receiver slash tight ends. Short and mid and elite is now going to be 2 AP across the board. Uh, and then for offensive line, tight end, and fullback, post up is now 3 AP for all positions. And honorary lineman for blocking tight ends is being dropped to 2 AP. For the defensive side of the ball, middle linebackers and outside linebackers lowered the lurker unlock for linebackers. It will unlock at 90 overall for field general and pass coverage, and for 91 overall for run stoppers. Uh, defensive end and outside linebackers, edge threat is being lowered uh, to 2 AP for speed and power rushers. And double or nothing is being lowered to 3 AP for speed and power rush outside linebackers. And then for the defensive tackles, uh, they're lowering inside stuff to 1 AP on run stopper DTs. Now, to be complete, now let's talk about the meh. Let's just get with the meh out of the way first. And that's just basically this entire section right here. I really don't care for this, to be completely honest. This is probably the only meh I have because. I don't really want to waste AP on juke and spins and all that stuff. Granted, if you're playing with a guy like Lamar Jackson, you know, who is an improviser quarterback, that's fine. You can do what you want. Um, but I just think that this is a meh uh, type of thing for me. I don't really care that much. Uh, and I think that's really it. Also, I think actually the other meh is going to be the human joystick for the running backs. Not many people use human joystick because it is 7 AP. If it was like, like, four or five AP, like four, three or four AP for human joystick, then it's probably a little different because then actually could be, because then it'll be actually some things that somebody will use, but I really don't, it's really just meh for me. Now let's talk about the good and the good things that they're, there's a lot of good things to talk about here. First is they're giving improvisers a great ability in pass lead elite because improvisers definitely need help with their archetype because Let's be completely honest, outside of Roaming Deadeye, which I'll touch on here in a minute, outside of Roaming Deadeye and Escape Artist, which they get at like 9, I think that's like, I think you have to be 90 overall to get it in Tier 3. The improvisers really don't get anything of significance until you hit 95 overall, because then you can get Gunslinger, that's when you can get, um, yeah, Gunslinger, that's basically it. Uh, so realistically, improvisers don't really have a lot of good abilities to start. Uh, so they're giving pass lead elite, which does help out a little bit. It doesn't really do a whole lot, but it's going to help out a little bit to make 
uh, improviser is a little bit more appealing. Uh, inside Deadeye going up to 5 AP, this is a fantastic change. I was so sick of seeing people abuse Inside Deadeye because it was 1 AP. It was absolutely necessary. It had to be upgraded. It had to be changed. And I'm really glad that they're changing it. Um, also, I think this is also a good change here going from 2 to 1 um, for uh, running back apprentice on all running backs. And this one probably just made the most logical sense. Because the thing is, is, like, you take an elusive back, for example, okay? Uh, or not even elusive back. Let's look at our, our... No, actually, let's focus on elusive back, okay? Elusive backs, they're back... For backfield master, for them, it is 2 AP, right? So, a backfield master gives you better route running and be, uh, better catching and more hot routes, right? And backfield mismatch gives you better route running and better catching against linebackers. Running back apprentice just gives you the better routes. But the better, but the running back apprentice is two AP. But backfield mismatch is also two AP. But uh, backfield master I maybe mean, is two AP. So why would you get the running back apprentice for two AP when you could just get backfield master for the two AP because you'll get the routes and the better catching? I don't know. Like it just this doesn't make sense. I never understood why last year they never changed it, but. Bringing down it from two to one is going to really make um, running back apprentice seem a lot more viable, and I'm actually looking forward to giving it a try. Um, post, um, not post, uh, short and elite. Honestly, it was good. It's good to see it being upped a little bit. Um, I do think this was definitely, uh, it, you know, it's not going to permanently fix it. I still still think people are going to use short and elite over route tech. Um, but I do like uh, the idea to get it um a little bit um and then the last great thing uh last good to great thing uh also this is a meh right here the inside stuff being lowered because i do think that this was needed because run stoppers didn't really have anything of significance to them um so they definitely did need uh some help uh to make them more appealing and there we go but the good last good great thing and it is unlocking lurker for linebackers at a much lower overall this is something that people complained about last year and this was one of the biggest problems that people had going into this year was that because linebackers weren't usable in the beta people wanted to use user those linebackers uh and then for run stoppers before this ap update and this ability change update um they had uh for run stoppers you can't get lurker until 99 overall seriously you cannot get runs on run stopper linebackers you cannot get it till 99 overall and then with field generals and pat i think field generals and pass coverage both unlocked at 95 so that was way too late to be getting um an ability that basically makes them usable um and makes them be able to be userable so i do like the fact that they are changing it and they're making it something that has to be that they're addressing immediately um this one is a good change however i don't necessarily know if it's gonna help because pass rush right now even just in general is pretty bad but i mean it is something you know it's a change and hopefully this actually does play out a lot better double or nothing is something i'm going to probably i'm gonna probably going to rock one double or nothing and one edge threat or maybe just two edge edge threats and save an ap point might do that now let's go into the bad things that i don't like about this patch post up three ap for all positions i don't like this idea i do not understand what the problem with post up really was it made you dominant in off in blocking double with double team blocks right you know you got double dominant double team block wins with post up but the issue is, is that it really in the grand scheme of things didn't do much of anything different because you know people could just shoot that gap okay yeah you get the double team you get the dominant block on the inside stuff guy if you're using it on your center but then you're the user just shoots the gap and smacks you in the backfield for a loss so what is the point? Like post up was not the issue. I don't understand. Like post up was not needed to be addressed. In my opinion, this was something that should have been left alone. Uh, to be completely honest, I think there was no reason to change it. I hope in the next AP update they do bring it back down to one AP because there was no need to change it. Um, also other things that are really bad to see that was not addressed was Roman Deadeye. It was not addressed in this update, and now people are starting to think, 
that the people that you know guys are going to be starting to use Roman Dead Eye Pass, Lead Elite, and Escape Artist as the new quarterback meta. And if that does happen, then we're going to have some issues because people are going to start abusing that, especially with contains not being good. And also, you got zone coverage players not playing the proper zones that they're in most of the time. You, it's going to be brutal to see these guys, you know, consistently rolling out and getting good passes in uh, on the run. You know, it's, it's just it's going to suck. And with pass the elite making it so that way the passes are much more fa- uh, much more uh, pass much more better uh, when you pass lead. You know it's it's gonna definitely not help. You know it's gonna make things worse. So roaming dead eye was absolutely something that they should have addressed. I hope they address it in the next AP update. In my opinion, it should it should be like inside dead eye. It should go up to five AP. For improviser and scrambler and strong arms, because I think strong arms can also get it too. So improviser, so it should go up to five AP for all quarterback archetypes, um, maybe even seven AP. You know, just so that way people just use that ability and that's it. Um, also, some bad things that weren't addressed: gunslinger was not touched. Um, it is still going to be four AP on a uh, strong arms, um, five on field generals, and I think six on improvisers and scramblers now i'm not really too worried about that at this ap update i hope they address it for the next ap update whenever that is probably next month uh but i hope then they address it there because then you know you know there's going to be a lot more cards coming out hopefully we have like an you know another upgrade or you know you get an improviser with like 95 overall you know then he gets gunslinger and then you know then you're gonna have to change it up that way so I think that is something that I'm not really concerned with right now, but I hope in the next update it is addressed. Um, also something that is good that I did not touch on, um, where is, where was it, uh, that I did think was really, really good. Uh, oh yeah, honorary lineman for blocking tight ends. It was weird just to see that, you know, it was 3 AP for them. Like, I just don't understand. Um, it's just I just don't understand. Um, also, abilities that weren't... T- also, some things that should have been touched but were not... Um, well, 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 actually, one good thing that wasn't touched that should not be touched is Acrobat and Lurker. They didn't touch those for ability points. In my opinion, good, because um, Acrobat is just... It's just so key right now. With the zones being so bad, you need defensive backs to be able to jump and make a play out of position... Or make that diving play because they're just so out of position. Uh, and then for Lurker, obviously, you know, on cornerbacks, it's been fucking amazing. I've seen some people use um, Lurker on corners. Um, and it's just been fantastic for them. So, I do think I'm going to put Lurker on my corners when we get there. When I do get there for my lineup. But there's no guarantee yet. But I don't know when that uh, when my cards are going to get upgrades for their cornerbacks. But... Hopefully Richard Sherman gets a gig soon so that way he can be back in the league and he gets a card for his team for himself because I would like to have Richard Sherman back, please. Um I'm trying to think. There was one last thing that should have been addressed that I personally am not happy to see that it was not um addressed. What was it? I, I think it was like a D I can't remember. It was like a defensive uh, oh yeah, Escape Artist did not go down to 2 AP for Improvisers. I think it should be 2 AP for Improvisers as well. Because again, it is all about just making them seem more of a uh, quarterback type of a, a, a more, much more, a, much more quarterback friendly, or a much more player um, appealing archetype. Like this is a great start here to get past lead Elite to Improvisers. But I do think uh, scramblers, sh- uh, uh, not scramblers, uh, escape artists should also go down to, down to 2 AP as well. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you guys did, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And with that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'm out. Peace.